This spring, the Victoria and Albert Museum in South Kensington plays host to a special exhibition celebrating the Diamond Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen. The exhibition showcases the royal work of one of Britain's greatest photographers, Sir Cecil Beaton. Over three decades, Beaton would be invited to photograph the Queen on many significant occasions, including her coronation day in 1953. His photographs of the royal family were central to shaping the monarch's public image in the mid-20th century. Cecil Beaton was one of the greatest British photographers of the 20th century, a star photographer, yet he was still genuinely shocked and really delighted to be invited to take the official Coronation Day photographs at Buckingham Palace. I think even though he'd been photographing the royal family for many years, he still felt really quite nervous before every sitting, and the Coronation Day was really the, the biggest day of his whole career. He photographed in the green drawing room at the palace using two very elaborate backdrops. The backdrop that we see in the famous picture of the Queen seated with the orb and scepter is an image of the Henry VII Lady Chapel at Westminster Abbey. And in this study, she holds the orb and the scepter and wears the glittering crown, which was altered for her coronation because she's such a petite lady and the crown had previously been worn by her father. It needed to be lowered and the jeweler's garrard worked on the crown before the coronation. 1968 was Beaton's last sitting with the Queen and he wrote in his diary that he wanted to produce photographs of the Queen that were stark and clear and bold. Those were the words that he used. And he wrote to the Queen's private secretary saying, I'd like Her Majesty to wear something very simple, something dark, quite somber. And Beaton photographed Her Majesty against a very simple blue backdrop. So the, the feel of this portrait is completely different to the, the glittering and very elaborate Coronation Day studies. In his diaries, Beaton records the, the conversations that he had with Her Majesty throughout each sitting and the, the way in which they would talk about which outfits she could wear, which jewels and tiaras, etc. And I think it was very much a, a collaborative effort. Visitors to the exhibition at the V&A will not only see the photographs from the museum's huge collection of around 18,000 beaten portraits, they'll also see wonderful supplementary materials such as a letter from the Queen Mother uh, written to Beaton in 1963 in which she thanks him for all the work he's done for her family. The V&A is open from 10 a.m. until 5.45 p.m. daily and until 10 p.m. on Fridays. The museum is served by both South Kensington and Knightsbridge Underground stations and bus routes C1, 14, 74 and 414. Be sure to join us next time on Postcard from London.